Hey hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird One. Today I'm going to show you something that you guys have been asking me all over the place. How did you get your Monero mining or Intensecon mining hash rates so high on your Vegas? And why don't I have those hash rates when I have the same GPU? Well it's actually pretty simple and I'm going to show you today how to get those hash rates easy. Of course you can do many more things with these graphics cards like doing some regedit with the graphics card to make them more efficient and doing power play with them. But I'm only going to show you how to accomplish the high hash rates today and that's kind of the basics of how you can get these graphics cards to run faster but they will still be using a lot of power. Like I've shown in the benchmark video before you can see that this graphics card is using a lot of power but you can as I said before do some power playing with it so you can down the power usage of this graphics card. So let's get on with the video. Okay, so in most cases, it's going to look a little bit like this, like 1400 or 1300 hashes per second. And when your GPU heats up, the hash rates are going down because thermal throttling kicks in on HPM2 memory. Okay, so I'm going to give you the Vega 56, 64 and Frontier Edition high hash rate requirements, let's say. First of all, you will need to install the AMD blockchain drivers of August 23rd. I once made a video about how to install these blockchain drivers from start to finish, even uninstalling your old drivers. So if you don't know how to do this, just go to that video and I will guide you from there on. Next up, you will need the Cast XMR Miner 0.8.0 by Gendel 3000. This miner is very easy to use, you can even mix your Vegas with RX series graphics cards and use the same cast XMR miner. So this is really useful for intense coin or Monero mining and I really recommend this miner. But I will show you later on how this one works and how it's done. But next up, one really important thing is the clock speeds of your graphics cards and the settings that you will actually need. So after the video, you will need to um, accomplish the hash rates that I posted. So first, for example, is the Vega 56. If you did not flash it to a 64, you will need to set the core to 1590, the memory to 945 megahertz, the power limit just to zero, and the fan speed has to be 80 to 100 percent, because we said before that it can have thermal throttling on the HPM2 memory unless you have the sapphire version that I showed you last time the HPM2 memory is very cold on that card so it does not have the fan speed problem so you can run that one on 60% fan speed with ease but the regular Vegas need to run at 80 to 100% fan speed so they get really loud but you will get about 1950 hashes per second on a regular Vega 56 if you have a Vega 64, I am going to show all the cores and memory set speeds whatsoever next to it. It's going to be about the same, but the 64 should reach 2050 hashes per second. And the Frontier Edition can do 2100 for some reason. Um, it's not really uh, sure that this is an actual hash rate or is just like a reporting problem. I'm not sure about it, but we need to test that a little bit out more because it has a lower core than the 64 and the memory is exactly the same, but it does have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So I'm not really 100% sure about that one. But now I'm going to show you how to do the easy trick on getting your hash rates to these limits. So probably there's a lot of people going to be like, yeah, you can do other random stuff with it, like the regedit or power level, and you can tweak the core and memory, but I'm just talking about the high hash rate, how I become to these high hash rates and what I've done to it. So I did nothing to the core or power limit because I don't really care about how much this graphics card is using. Probably a lot of people don't care what it's using. But that's going to be for the next video, as I said before, so keep that in touch that I will make another video on how to make these graphics cards efficient. Okay, so here comes the simple trick. Just go to Device Manager, open it up and go to your Display Adapters. 
If you open your display adapters, you will see all the RX Vegas that are installed onto your computer. And what you have to do is just right click every Vega one by one. And first of all, click one to disable it. And when it's going to disable, it's going to ask you to do that. And you just press yes. It's going to start flickering your screen because it's turning off the Vega. After that, you just enable the same card you just disabled. It's going to flicker once again. And after that, you are done. You can repeat this for every graphics card and this will unlock the bug. There is some sort of bug, I call it a bug, because it has some sort of limitation on the graphics card. But after you enabled and disabled the graphics card, you can go to your AMD settings and increase the HBCC memory all the way to the maximum. This will give you a few extra hash rates over what it's normally doing. So by doing this simple step, disabling and enabling every single Vega in your system, you are increasing the hash rates by many. Okay, so now that we enabled and disabled all our Vegas and we fixed the little bug problem, we need to download the cast ITNS miner or Monero miner. I will put the link in the description below and you will need to edit the start file like we do on any kind of miner. And first of all, you will need to change the pool if you want to mine Monero, for example. This one is on the intense.miningpools.us supported by the channel. You will need to change your address of course to yours and on this cast miner you will need to set the amount of gpus you have so for example we want to enable gpu 0 and gpu 1 and you can fill it all the way until 7 gpus or even 10 or whatsoever you want so you will see that if you save it on a wrong number for example, we have only two GPUs and you fill in like six GPUs at the same time and you save that and you're going to run the script. It's going to tell you that the index two doesn't exist because GPU two is not in the computer. So you need to do this right unless this miner will not work. So we need to fill in zero and one because we have two GPUs and computers start counting from zero. If you didn't know that, but that's a great tip. So when you start mining, you will see automatically that it will start mining. But we are not there. We need to do one more thing. Okay, so what we have to do next isn't going to be very nice because you will hear that in just a second. I'm doing this live with you guys so you can follow along. So we are going to set our memory clock setting speeds, like I said before in the video, at the start of the video uh, to 1100 for the Frontier Edition, as you can see here and also for the 64 version. So I have both of these graphics cards in my computer, but we need to do one thing and you will probably hear it in just a second. We're gonna raise the fan speed above 70%. So we're gonna set it to 80% because this is going to cool the HBM2 memory. If you don't set it to 80%, you will degrade hash rate over time and you will see that you will notice that just in a minute or five minutes in mining you will see the difference in hash rate so this is going to get loud when i'm going to press this v over here you will hear it straight away in the video probably and this is really annoying for a lot of people in the house <laughs> when you are having a few thousands of these running in a farm probably then you're going to have about a problem but if you have the same problem as I'm having over here, uh, just unlock it and put the power limit all the way up, the temperature limit, and damn you, Windows Update. Oh no, what am I doing? So just leave it on the same clock speeds, the power limits, all going to be the same, and just press V. So both of these graphics cards are now running at 80% fan speed, memory clock speeds are 1100 and people using 56s without BIOS mods do 945. So this is just exactly what we need and what we need to do next is just run the miner. So now you should see your hash rates go really high. This is going to be pretty crazy for most people that are kind of new to mining they will see their hash rates increase like crazy. And as you can see, GPU one uh, has not been enabled and disabled to show you the difference. So one GPU is mining faster than the other one. So the first one is mining 1969, but we're recording, so it should be 2050. And the other one is not doing its best because it did not enable and disable himself in device manager. So that's clearly, you can see the difference over here. And hopefully I helped a lot of people out today uh, to earn a little bit more money. 
Okay, so hopefully you all enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe because I told you about it. The other video is going to be to how to make them efficient or how to buy us mod these graphics cards because a lot of requests are coming in these days about these Vegas. So hopefully you all enjoyed this video and see you guys in the next one.